buzz buzz There's a buzz outside my window. Something bumbling in the tree. It sounds so very busy. It's a... Well, well I'll, I'll be. be. Hello, I'm Bob. Hello, I'm Hannah. And, and we, we are Kitchen Zoo. Zoo. And today, we are going to... Yes! Today, we are going... What is that? Is that you? No! It sounds like buzzing. A very busy buzzing. What, what could, could it, it be? be? Psst! Down here. I'll give you a clue. It has wings. Wings? A butterfly. No. Sometimes it has a sting in its tail. A sting? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. It's yellow, black and stripy. Have a guess. You can't fail. Is it... a... Uh, a bee? It is a bee. A red mason bee, to be precise. Well, I've never heard of a red mason bee before. There's many different bees in the plant pots and hedgerows. I know all about them. Shall I tell you so you'll know? This is the ballad of the red mason bee. Look closely in the garden and soon you will see. Clues that they are nesting, building a home. Check holes in walls and tree stumps and round behind the gnome. Spring has sprung and the sun is shining bright. The flowers are opening and the bees are taking flight. Put your wellies on, it's time to go explore. Bring your coat, but I hope it doesn't pour. Look, there's the gardeners, pulling up the weeds, trimming back the ivy and planting summer seeds. Always smiling, but with muddy hands and knees. Let's see what they're up to and what they know of bees. Nestled in a brickwork hole, the mason bee is a lonesome soul. They're on the wing in spring to July, and in your town you might see them fly. They like to nest in window frames and eat pollen from the parks where you play your games. They eat the pollen from the flowers and trees, especially apples and pears, those hungry bees. A small, common bee nestled in hollow plant stems. But how can we identify them? They're covered all over in gingery hair. That's how you'll spot a mason bee's there. The girls are much bigger and use mud in their beds. The boys are much smaller with white tufts on their heads. Go! Oh! What's this crawling out of this little nook? Well, I'll be. It's a bee. That's a turnip in me boots. <laughs> Hang on. There's something strange about that there bee. I'll take a closer look and Buzz. see. Buzz. Uh, ha. That's what's strange. This bee hasn't got yellow legs like some of the others I've seen, all covered in lovely pollen. No, this one's got a belly all covered in pollen. Interesting, that. Huh? Not on their legs like so many. Red masons collect pollen on their belly. So when collecting from a flower or bush, they collect it on their pollen brush. I could make an home. For this lonesome soul, this little solitary bee. Now it came out of that hole. Hmm. Ah! A hollow cane with an hole. I'll get a tin can and fill it with short hollow canes. 
and maybe you'll come back again. That's the ballad of the red mason bee. Keep your eyes peeled and maybe you'll see a little red bee disappear in a hole. Then you'll know you've spotted this lonesome soul. Oh, well, I'll have to look out for a red mason bee in my garden. Perhaps you could look out for a red mason bee in your garden. Or in the park. Or you could build a house for one like our gardeners did. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Buzz. 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 Buzz.